My business develops appropriate renewable energy technologies. We look to the past, see what's worth keeping and try and build on that. This mill here is one of our projects. It needed to be updated and made sustainable. So this was an opportunity to apply our technologies. It's generally a hardwood sawmill we have here and we produce hardwood flooring. It's all native hardwoods. Before we got electricity uh, connected, the sawmill was powered by, by the water wheel. It was a direct drive from the water wheel to the saws. We had a turbine site here, but I hadn't the knowledge. Where Rick had the knowledge, but he hadn't the site, we put our two heads together and we got this system up and running. This is an open flume propeller turbine. Water comes in here, falls down through the propeller and out the other side. This provides power for the equivalent of about 50 energy efficient houses. Here we have an undershot water wheel. When I arrived, this was a traditional wheel. It was designed for operating just a few hours a day. So it was a simple, straight, timber wheel, so it wasn't suitable for continuous operation or power generation. So we literally had to reinvent this wheel. We had to make scale models, prototype test rigs, and eventually after several months we got the proper design. So instead of being a timber wheel, now it's an aluminium wheel, and it's designed for continuous operation. It's also designed as an aerator. So it increases the oxygen level in the river and is beneficial to fish. This is a horizontal tube turbine. It's a lot more powerful than the other ones. This is a machine that's capable of being built from simple tools locally anywhere in the world, even in developing countries. Water just goes straight in and straight out. There's no change in direction. It's a propeller turbine, so the propeller is on its side in a horizontal position, and it's in a little torpedo tube. The three different technologies here can all be built using local simple tools. They demonstrate completely different technologies that can be applied in various different circumstances. These can generate up to a maximum of about 2,000 kilowatt hours per day. In the, the old sawmill with the straight paddle wheels, mechanical drive, that would have produced about 100 kilowatt hours per day. We use some of that electricity in the mill and the surplus electricity then is sold onto the ESV. It has been very successful, has been working for the past 16, 17 years. Here we have a test rig. This is called a hydraulic flume and we can change the speed of water here for testing different turbines. The other technologies need a drop in water or a weir. In this case, we want to test free stream turbines, which just use the natural flow of the river or the tides. We can put scale models in here, accelerate the flow to whatever speed we want, and then test the models. In this test flume, because it's connected to one of the previous turbines, we can turn up and down the flow very easily and it's completely controllable. To test a prototype, the first thing is to design the prototype, design it in a model about 300 millimeters diameter. We do it in conjunction with the factory in Wexford, so we can do rapid prototyping. We can build one in a day, bring it up here and have it tested the next day. So it's, it's very quick, it's very flexible. If it's working and it shows promise, well then we'll keep going along that line. If not, we do a quick change in direction and try a different type. It would be very difficult for a university or a test lab to simulate these conditions. They would need an enormous laboratory and millions of euros to do so. The object of this is, like the other ones, to develop free stream turbines that can be used in sites all over the world. Again, very simple technology. And also to scale it up and use it in, in tidal power sites.